All right, welcome. This is the first of many topics that I'll be covering on this channel, and I hope you enjoy it. So one topic that is really important to understand well in high school is factoring. So factoring in the uh, Canadian curriculum typically occurs in grade 10. And here are some of the most important concepts that you need to know when you're doing factoring. Firstly, you can see here that I've broken it into three parts. The first part is the preliminary algebra. The second part is the actual factoring methods. And then the third part is what I would recommend you do to really get test ready and excel. Within these factoring methods, the topics are listed in order that you would see them in most textbooks and presented by most teachers. You usually start with what are called common factors, and then that branches off into grouping. Finally, we have these uh, other four types of factors that typically deal with quadratics or, or polynomials that involve x squared, but they can be generalized to more advanced uh, polynomials. The ones that you are really going to get hammered into you, in my lessons at least, and the ones that you see very often in evaluations are the trinomials. The monic trinomial, where there is a 1 in front of the x squared, and a non-monic trinomial, where you have another number other than 1. These ones here are usually called special. So by special, I mean that they are referred to as special factoring skills. However, you can really treat them as the uh, non-monic or monic trinomials. So the remaining lessons for this topic in factoring will cover one, two, three, four, five, six, plus some extra tough stuff. But before we get into that, let's review some expanding and some basic algebra. Okay, let's get going.